Hey everybody, it's Pluto, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, before we do anything else with the story, we're going to do a bit of cleaning up since we now have the boom ring, which allows us to reach a lot of things that we couldn't reach before. So starting off, let's get out of Ocarina and play the Sun Song, which might sound strange, but it makes sense because right here at night, on top of this log, we can actually access a Skulltula. So let's go up here, and there it is right over there. Just have to hit it twice. And then we can get its token. There we go. That should be everything here for the moment. And everything here in the Zora's Domain area, though. No, well, Zora River area, at the very least. Also, Navi had something to say, but it's gone now, so... I'm not sure what I can really do about that. But hey, here's Princess Ruto now. Did my most precious possession help you in your quest? Hee <laughs> hee. Well, not yet, but anyway. Let me see if King Zora has anything to say. Oh, Link. You, you, so you saved the princess, eh? I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Now... I have to think of all the places I have to go check for everything that I haven't got yet. So, I think to start off... What do I have in my inventory? I still have a bug. That's a good start. Let's go... This way, out of the, 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 the domain. I think I know the way I want to go around doing things, but I might also be wrong about that. Guess I'll have to figure it all out as I go along. There's also some uh, red rupees, I believe, down exactly below here in the the water. Ah, wrong way. Down in the water. Down there if I went down there for them, but I don't need them, so. Instead, let's go through here, because we can do that now. Down, please. Down. Thank you. We can go into this tunnel here, which takes us to... The Lost Woods. We may have seen this little bit of water here before, but I didn't really point, out, point it out very well, so... Now, I'm going to try this, and I'm not sure if it's going to do anything. Okay, no. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Uh, maybe sorry song. Maybe. Even so, if it's not, I can still check it. Listen. Want to talk to Saria? Yes, I do. Link, this is Saria. Can you hear me? Link, I don't know what it is. I have this feeling of dread. The castle. Yes, yeah, something bad is happening at the castle. No, I don't want to talk to Navi again, please. Thank you. Okay, well, let's go check a few things while we're here, I and mean, we're gonna need bombs out, so let's do that. It's weird how much of the game I remember at this point. I, I, I feel like I shouldn't remember this much about the game. But anyway, let's blow up this rock here. Get a blue rupee. But if we go over this way, there should be another rock? Yes. I also don't know if this is what I think it is, or not, but it's okay. Let's go into this hole. And we have some Deku Scrubs here. Very nice. I surrender. I can enable you to pick up more Deku Nuts, but it'll cost you 40 rupees. Worth it. So now we can carry more Deku Nuts. Up to 30. I don't think you have anything too important for us, do you? Say so Deku Seeds, which I do not need. Goodbye. Also, I'm, it's, glad, it's very nice of the Deku salesman to give you some rupees back after you just bought something from them. But I guess if they leave in a hurry after just getting something, that kind of makes sense, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, let's head over this way. And let's place a bomb right here. Because there's a secret grotto here. And if we go in... 
This place is probably the coolest grotto I've ever seen, which is interesting because you never see any other one like this, I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, but there are some wolfos in here that we need to take out, so... Ow. Take you out. Where's the other one? There it is. Attack me, attack me, attack me, attack me. Also, is this... Have we seen more wolfos since the Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask era? I can't remember. I don't think so, but they're... They're cool. But anyway, if we take them out... A treasure chest appears. This is entirely optional, so... But you know, we kind of need it right now. Because it's a 50 rupee, so... I'll take that. Let's head on out again. And now I want to go a little bit further into the Lost Woods. So let's do that. Okay, up we go. This is not a great angle, but that's okay. Uh, around here somewhere should be... If I've done this correctly. You collected three spiritual stones. Let's go back to Hyrule Castle. I feel like I've done this wrong, which is unfortunate because... That's going to make this difficult. This is sad. Anyway, I guess that means there isn't anything here then. So instead of being here and doing nothing, because apparently this isn't here at the moment, what I thought was here. Uh, let's head back into the Lost Woods, because there's a few more things we can do there, and also in Kokiri Forest. Might also be faster to loop round the Lost Woods by going the wrong way. I believe one of the grass things here that you can cut will actually have... What's it called for you? Some bugs if you need them as well. Okay, I want to blow up this rock here. See if there's anything underneath it. There is a grotto, which will have bugs in it, I'm presuming. So that's also another way you could get some bugs. Let's see what this treasure chest has, has for us. 20? 5, okay. Wasn't entirely sure. Okay, we need to go down. And then this way. And now, something we have had for a little bit now, we can actually sell this mask that we got, the skull mask. But who do we sell it to? Well, we sell it to the Skull Kid. Because, you know, Skull's in his name, Skull's in this in this thing's name, so... Hee <laughs> hee! Under that mask, aren't you that Kokiri Kid? Oh, he's coming. <laughs> Quite an unusual mask you have there, hee <laughs> hee. I like it. It may look m make me look a little bit tougher. Hey, why don't you give it to me? Okay. Yow Yowza! I'm gonna wear this all the time. He just gave you 10 rupees for this 20 rupee mask. You lost money on that deal. Go back to the mask shop and pay 20 rupees for the mask. The difference will have to come out of your own pocket. This is a sad, sad day. Well, anyway, let's go over here because over here is actually some soft soil. And if I can quickly get this bug back, Please, 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 please. Like that. Good. We can also get out um, some beans now as well. Just like that. Pro could have waited a little bit longer for that, but that's okay. Let's get this gold sculptor. Very nice. And that should be everything in the Lost Woods for the moment, except for one other thing that I guess I could check, but I also want to check it later. Not that much later, but I, I, I feel like it would be more efficient to come. Oh, mm, mm. This is frustrating me. That's okay, let's head into Kokiri Forest for the moment. Okay, so... Kokiri Forest at night is actually very different from the daytime, because think everyone... No, maybe they don't go away. But I do know that I believe back over here somewhere 
there should be a Skultula. So let's go ahead and grab this. Very nice. Grab that. Very nice. Okay, so that's one. <laughs> it's weird to say. Ah, uh, but now let's head over to the shop. I also feel like there's one other one that I think I remember being here, but I could be wrong and that'd be annoying if it is not, because I feel like I should check it if it is. Ah, uh, but anyway, there's also some soft soil over here, so let's plant or drop some bugs on that. Grab one of the year. Okay, one hit, two hit, plant that. Grab that. Okay, now I feel like there might be one over by the Decker Tree, but I think I'm actually wrong about that. I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to ignore myself for a second here. I'm going to walk around here. Okay. Uh, let's go. Whoa, he's doing backflips. Jumping is going out of style now. I'm crazy about doing backflips. Can you do one? I can. But anyway, I think that's everything in Gokiri Forest for the moment. Um, let's go, I guess, back through the Lost Woods. We can get to Goron City by doing that as well, so. All of the efficiency. So, let's go over this way, because this leads to an area we haven't been to before. We've got some Deku Salesmen here. So let's repel the things back at them. Let's see what they have to say. Alright, you win. In return, I will sell you Deku Sticks. One piece for 15 rupees. Ah, uh, no thank you. Ah, uh, the other one. Deku Nuts. Nope. Don't need that. Ah, uh, but what I do need is this soft soil here. There's a lot of soft soil in the Lost Woods area. Or the Kukuri Forest. Both combined, just this area of the world. Nope, plant the beans, please. Thank you. There we go, and there's the... What's it called? Gold Skultula, so let's take that. And now, over here, we can see some butterflies around here, and if we just go up to them, there's a grotto that they're guarding. But unfortunately, we can't do anything here right now. Forest stage. We are waiting to see your beautiful face win fabulous prizes. So we'll come back to that. Once I actually have the stuff I'm supposed to have, which is unfortunate because I think I was supposed to have the skull mask for that. That's fine. <laughs> I can get another one. Ah, uh, but now I want to head to Death Mountain because there's also a few other things I can still do there, I believe. Oh, there's a grotto. And here we go. Also, now we have bombs. This that would have made the pot in the middle a lot easier to have do. Since, you know, we could just pull out a bomb whenever it's at the right position and just throw one in. Instead of having to go back and forth with the bomb flower. Now, let me see. I believe if I get out my bombs and go over this way. Ow, 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 ow. If I try to blow up this Goron. Please. I missed. That's fine. Also, what's this sign say? If you can stop my wild rolling, you might get something great. Hot Rodder Goron. Well, let's see how this goes now. Just have to wait for it to go all the way around. Because I think it has to be in the tunnel. I might be wrong about that. I'm probably wrong about that.
Ah, please. Please, 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 please. Really, 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 really. Okay, I'm gonna pull out the bomb chews. Also, whenever you pull out a bomb chew, it will make you first person mode into it, which is a little bit annoying, but anyway. Hello, Goron. All right, I'll give you this in praise of your courage. And we get the biggest bomb bag with a gold loop thing around it. Now you can carry up to 40 bombs. Which is nice because we just used up a whole bunch. And actually fills it up again, so that's also good. All the good things. Now, I think I might need to go up a floor, possibly. Possibly. There's also this other path over here that leads to lava. <laughs> that we can't really do much with. Uh, but let's head over this way. It should take us up another floor. Oh, I think I went too high. I think I went too high. I need to go back down to the floor that I just left. Because there's... Ah, uh, these bomb flowers over here with this door that we can blow open. So let's do that. And behind door number one is door number two. Oh my goodness, explosions. Okay, let's blow up this other, this other door. Okay, let's head through. Oh my goodness, door number three. And behind door number three is another door. Door number four. This is a little bit ridiculous. Anyway, this is Big Oron. I'm working on something really cool right now, but I think it's going to take a while. If you can wait five or six years, it should be ready, okay? Well, I can't wait five or six years, but I will take this rupee. If I can, there we go. If you can wait five or six years, you should be ready, okay? Okay. Well, nothing <laughs> nothing there then. Let's uh, head on up to the top floor again. Since there's some stuff we can do there since we have bombs, which I forgot about because I d wasn't really thinking about it at the time. But also, it's not really that efficient to do it back when we were first here, so... Now seems like a better time to me. So, over here, which we can get past these bombs by going around on the rope. Uh, but we can actually just blow this up and it'll be a lot, a lot more efficient. Especially since we need bombs where we're going. Okay. So, in here, we have all these boulders. We need to blow up the ones that we can blow up to try and get through. And it's a bit of a maze. I know which way to go, though, but I, I still feel like blowing up all of the rocks, so... Also, I think... Oh, that's a red rock. Can't do anything with that either. Come on, blow up. I don't know why they don't blow up sometimes. Possibly if I'm not watching them, they might not blow up. Oh, that's too far. It's fine. What is happening? Why can't these boulders explode? Come on. I'm wasting so many bombs. Okay, good, 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 good can get into here, and there's some true chests for us. Chest number one. A <laughs> purple rupee. Well, that's good, because I think we're at max then. Especially if this is another rupee. Yes, it is. Bit of a waste, but it's okay. Because there's a gold sculptor here that I want to get, so let's get that. Have quite a few of those now. How many do we have? 31. We're doing good on sculptors so far. Anyway, that's everything in here for the moment. Let's go... I think that's everything in Goron City for now. As well. There is the other purple rupee that I could get outside of here. But I don't need it right now. But there is uh, the soft soil that I can do now. So let's do that. I can hear a cow. That's a good sign. Ow. I should probably break some of these boulders for some hearts since they usually drop lots of hearts. If I'm low. Very nice. Let's do this now. Gonna try and get one back. See how that goes. Good. 
Neck on the hole, please. Okay, good. Very good. Let's drop that in there as well. Very nice. Now, Skultula. I said... Now, Skultula? Skultula. Is there no Skultula here? I'm going to be very surprised if there isn't. Put some more in there. They're going in the hole. Or the middle of it. Whatever it is. I don't know. So maybe there just isn't one here. I guess. Well, uh, no, I'm going to try one more. I'm going to put all, th all three of them in. Just let them all go. See how that goes. Although, what happens if I catch them all and drop it immediately and then catch another one? I don't know. Whoa. That's what happens, apparently. They just go straight down. That's weird. Anyway. Let's... Oh, I was going to go back. Through the thing, I guess. Ah, uh, but I just walk, I guess. Also, I think uh, there's less stuff than I realized that there was. In Zora River. Possibly. I guess I'm doing alright then. I'm still sad that I lost my, what's it called, bugs though. And got nothing out of it. Oh, come on. Just jump, jump down. There we go. Gonna need the boomerang out. Especially since we don't need that empty bottle anymore. For the moment. I still want the empty bottle, I just don't need to do anything with it at the moment. Now, let's go to the graveyard. Also, that means I'm gonna need... The Ocarina of Time. All the things. And I guess while I'm here, I can also get something you're not supposed to get until later on as well. Since I'm all for that, apparently. Let's go into the windmill. Also known as question mark. And now, if we jump up here and then... Z target, I want to... Nope, come on. Hang on, get up there, there. And then backflip onto this. And then boomerang. And then... I know I can do this because I've done it before. It's a little bit of a shortcut that we're not supposed to take, but we can actually get this piece of heart down to us. Just like that. I'll definitely show you how you're supposed to do that, but it means we get a, another heart container right now, so... And it's not that difficult to do as, as well, just doing the backflip and then using the boomerang to maneuver it out. But anyway, let's go to the graveyard and turn it to night time. Because we already saw there's a Skultula there. I didn't point it out, but it... I saw it, so... There's also some more bugs here if I wanted to get them. And also the... I guess the dirt patch, because I don't think I put a bean in it. I did get the Skulltula from it, though. So that is good. Oh, it's in the rock, right. I don't remember now. Get him! Got him. Good. Okay. Now with that, let's head on up this way. And get this Skultula that's on the back wall over here. Right up there. Okay. Aim at you. And let's get you. There we go. Should be like 32 or something like that. Like that. We've got plenty. Now, I also want to place a bean up here, where we already got a Skulltula. And now we're out of beans! Have to go buy more. Since we still need a few more. We can only buy as many as we need, so... Why not? But I think now, we should head to the House of Skulltula. And see what we can get with our... Second and third rewards.
Okay. I don't know which one's which, but I'm gonna just do them. The curse has been broken! Thank you, here's a reward for you. We get the Stone of Agony, which is the rumble pack, which allows us to hear, uh, which will mean that the controller will vibrate when there are secrets nearby. Which isn't that helpful in any, uh, I guess. <laughs> it depends on what version you're playing and how, 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 huh, how helpful it is, and also how much you've played the game. Curse is broken. We get the giant's wallet. What a huge wallet. Now you can carry up to 500 rupees. Now that 50 rupee on Death Mountain is tempting. Oh well, I'll just leave it for now. Okay. Let's head out of town and let's go get that Skultula that we saw that we couldn't get earlier. And then we'll head up Zora River for some more beans. I'm, I'm being far more efficient than I've ever been in this game right now. I guess it has been a while since I actually last played it through normally. Which was the last time I played Ocarina of Time on my channel. Which was just bad. <laughs> it was just a bad idea. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Could have done it a little bit earlier, but that's okay. Go in the hole! Okay. Just do that, I guess. That's a lot easier than anything else. Let's get this gold Skultula. Also, if you use uh, Din's Fire, you can kill the gold Skultulas faster, probably. But it does use magic, so I probably wouldn't do that. Get out of here. Oh, I can feel the vibration a lot more now. Just walking over it, my controller's vibrating <laughs> so much. Well, not very much, it's just a lot, very noticeable at how strong the vibrate is. The rumble. I love the rumble pack on the Nintendo 64. It's, it was such a good thing to have. My childhood. Just the rumble pack. Especially during anything exciting in the game. Okay. This is also another opportunity we could have to go get anything else we haven't done on Zero River as well. But I believe we've done everything, so let's buy some beans. And we should be done here. We have the legendary magic beans. I'll sell them only to you. Super price, 80 rupees for one piece. There we go. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Do you want magic beans? They aren't cheap, but do you still want them? I can't let them go for less than 90 rupees a piece. Okay. Now is that the last one? Chomp, chomp, chomp. We have magic beans. Do you want them? Huh? Huh? 100 rupees for one piece. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well I don't have enough rupees for that just yet. Which is unfortunate because I'm so close. Just so close. I guess I should be swinging the river to get a little bit more rupees. But anyway. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to get a few more rupees if I need them. That much. I also want to head over to... what's it called? Ah, uh, London Ranch, so... Since there's some things we could do there with the boomerang. Okay, we need also to be night time, so let's make it night time. Please? Please? Thank you. Okay, starting off, there's one right up here on the window of the house. So let's get that. It's a little bit further forward than I thought. 
thought it was. It's okay. Please hit. Thank you. Okay, let's grab that. Very nice. Shouldn't be anything else just here, but I think there's some stuff further into the ranch to go check. So let's go the long way, I guess. Because I believe right back here is a Skulltula, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, there is. Let's grit that. We could have probably done that earlier, but now seems like a better time to do it with everything else that we can get, get here. And now there should be one over here on this wall, I believe. And then that should be everything. There's also these enemy things. Gray, destroy it before it flies into you. Okay, so I'll, I'll do that then. They're kind of annoying. Uh, also, I need this. Also, I need this. So can I not be interrupted? Thank you. Ah, a bomb! I pulled out a bomb by accident. Also, that's not what I was trying to do. Please listen to what I'm saying. There we go. That's better. Actually aiming at what I'm aiming at. Let's grab that, and we should be done. Now, how many Skulltals is that? 36. Very nice. And now let's head to Castletown, I guess, because I don't think there's anything else we can do. Other than maybe one thing that I can think of, maybe? Maybe two. Maybe. Actually, no. Definitely one. One? One. Maybe a one. We'll, we'll save it for later, anyway. It's always just as I'm about to do something else that... Like, other things pop up in my head for some reason. It's an annoying feeling. I knew I was doing the control stick, just wasn't happy with me. Ah, uh, I lost her. You, over there, little kid. You must have seen the white horse gallop past just now. Which way did it go? Answer me. So 
So, you think you can protect them from me? You've got guts, kid. You want a piece of me? Very funny. I like your attitude. <laughs> Pathetic little fool. Do you realize who you're dealing with? I am Ganondorf. And soon I will rule the world. Okay then. Well that was certainly something. Of course I have to get rupees. But also, I'm sure Navi's gonna tell me to look in the moat because we saw Zelda something throw something into the moat. So let's go check what that what's that that's about. Let's dive. Get that. You found the Ocarina of Time. This is the royal family's hidden treasure which Zelda left behind. It glows with mystical light. A mystical light. Link, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda. Link, when you hold this Ocarina in your hand, I won't be around anymore. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. At least I could leave you the ocarina and this melody. This song opens the door of time. You learn the Song of Time. Now Link, play this melody in front of the altar in the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. Well, we know what we need to do, and that's get more rupees, obviously. If I can line myself up correctly, hang on. There we go. Let's go up here and get those. I guess that was just one since we didn't technically reload the area, I guess. Anyway. Just, uh, just a few more things I want to do as well still. I think I can do them all, probably. Uh, mainly, I want to go into the back alley. So let's do that. And see that there's a guard back here. Oh, are you the boy from the forest? I, I've finally met you. I have something to te tell you. Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of the Thieves, betrayed our king. Zelda's nanny, Impa, see sensed danger and escaped from the castle with our princess. I tried to stop Ganondorf's men from chasing them, but the princess was waiting for a boy from the forest. 
That's you. She wanted to give something to the boy. If you received it from the princess, hurry to the temple of time. He's not moving anymore. Hey, what? What's wrong with- okay. There's nothing there. But yeah, that guard died. It's very easy to miss as well, so I wanted to make sure I got that in here. Now, I want to do some more mask sales stuff, though. So. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay me back 20 rupees for the skull mask now. Payment received. Welcome, which mask can I lend to you? Well, I want to get... I guess the skull mask? Although I think I should probably do the spook spooky mask first. Please. Yes, I want to borrow this. A spooky mask. You can scare many people with this mask. Okay. Well, let's take this to where we need to go with it. And where we need to take it is the graveyard. So, let's head on up here and talk to this boy. Yeah, it's Dampe the Gravekeeper. Oh, it's just a mask. I get a different kind uh, kind of fright from that mask than I get from Dampe. Will you give that mask to me? Yes, I will. With this mask, I'll be just like Dampe. Here's my money. You sold the 30 rupee mask to a kid for full price, and he didn't mind paying at all. Let's go back to see the mask shop uh, uh, to pay 30 rupees for the mask. You can, uh, you can get the new mask model too. So there we go. It's just like that. I'm gonna dig and dig just like Dumpy. It's heading back to the Happy Mask Shop. Let's go back in here. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay me back 30 rupees for the spooky mask now. Payment received. So we could buy the next mask, which is the bunny hood with swinging rabbit ears. But I actually want to buy the skull mask again, which is free to borrow, so... Might as well. Gonna take that. And we're gonna head back to... the forest again. Now you could just walk back there, or... you can save... and quit. And re restart. Set. Because whenever you... turn off the game and turn it back on, in any way that that works, you actually just end up back in Link's house here, so... Important to know. But anyway, now that we're back here, we also need to go back to the Deku Tree since there's one other thing we can do there now. After Jabu Jabu, so let's go do that. Okay, so back inside the Great Deku Tree, which is called the Deku Tree, I guess. But I, I like, I always say the Great Deku Tree whenever I'm talking about it, so... We want to head back down, and we want to head back up this little shortcut that we made for ourselves last time we were here. So let's do that, and let's crawl back through this hole. Back to the area where we had those mini versions of the Goma boss. Just like that, because there's that other room that I never went into and didn't even burn up the opening to get into. Uh, but also this shows that we have an opportunity to use Din's Fire to actually open this without using Deku Sticks, so let's do that. And show what it looks like since we haven't actually done that. It's a fairly good attack against some of the regular enemies in here as well, so... I guess that's also a good thing, but anyway, we just need to blow up this door here, so we need to have completed Dodongo's Cavern... ...to do that point. But also, once we get in here... ...we have... ...this Skulltle there that doesn't do anything, but also this... ...Gold Skulltle up there... ...which means we need the Boomerang... ...to be able to take that out. I really missed that shot. I was hoping that it would just explode from contact, but I guess not, so... That's fine. I can just take it out the old-fashioned way. But this is a very easy Skulltle to miss since it's... ...way after... ...we were supposed to come here the first time. 
And I wouldn't imagine why you'd want to come back unless you didn't have this slingshot for some reason. But then, yeah, that still doesn't make much sense. But anyway, that's everything in here now. Uh, if you save and quit inside of a dungeon though, I'm pretty sure that if you reset, you actually reset back into the dungeon entrance, so if you don't want to use Feroz Wind to get back to the entrance, you can just do that as well and not waste any extra magic. But anyway, let's head back into the Lost Woods because we need to go back to that area that I couldn't do anything before. Okay, so now that we're here, we just need to go the way that I have memorized for the rest of my life, which is through this way. It's not that difficult to remember, but it, it's 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 been a thing that I've learned throughout my whole life, so I should remember it by now. Okay, and then this way. Now let's go back into that hole in the ground, since we can actually do what we're supposed to do now. Oh come on, where is it? It's around here somewhere. I know it's here. Also, if I'm not wrong, maybe. No, I can't actually look into where it is. There it is. Okay, so down here, let's get out the skull mask. I'm gonna equip that and stand over here. And suddenly these Deku are very excited. I wanna go over here though and talk to this Deku scrub that's in the ground. As long as we'll get out, please. Maybe. Maybe if I take off the mask? Yes. All of the young Deku Scrub brothers agree. You look exactly like our sacred forest totem. As an offering from us, please accept this. These Deku sticks will also enhance your carrying skills. Abracadabra. Alakazam. And now we can hold up to 30 Deku sticks. So there we go. Also, I didn't take off the mask, so I guess I was wrong about that. But anyway, that's one of the things that we needed the skull mask for, so I should have done it the first time I came through here, but I forgot about it, so. But anyway, now that that's done, we need to head back to the, what's it called, shop. But first, I think since I'm also here, it also gives me a good opportunity to also head to Death Mountain again. Since we need to go back to Dodonga's Cavern. Who would have thought? Okay, well anyway, while we're going to Dodonga's Cavern, I can also grab this extra chest over here that I wanted to point out from earlier, since we can actually blow up this hole here. There we go, and we get, of course, from this small chest, a purple rupee. 50 rupees. So there we go, and let's head back down to Dodongo's Cavern, and we can actually go to where we're supposed to go. Starting off, I'm going to... Uh, wait a second. Return to the warp point? Please don't tell me that I can return. I'm gonna dispel the warp point. If that means that I can return to a different dungeon from this dungeon, that'd be crazy. I don't know if that's actually possible, but I don't want to find out right now. So I'm just gonna create this warp here. And if, if that is actually a way to teleport between dungeons, that's actually great for efficiency, if I was better at efficiency. But for now, I'm just going to leave that, and I'm actually going to try and head to the upper level if I can. But yeah, I wanted to set the Feroz Wind so we could escape out of here fairly quickly. It's not exactly... It's not extremely necessary, but uh... Something I want to do, so... Already did that, did that. Good, 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 good. Now, I want to head back out this way, which is a little bit strange doing this, but this is how you're supposed to do this, I'm pretty sure. Because after you've left the first time coming through, everything's gonna reset, or well, a few things are gonna reset, but mainly, if we head over this way, something, some, something big's gonna have reset, which is gonna make it possible for us to get another Skulltula. Don't even need to worry about that door locking behind us. Oh, but we do because it locked the door in front of us. 
which is behind us technically if we were going the correct way through the dungeon. Okay, please move. Thank you. Grab all those. Okay, so once we get back to this room, the stairs that we actually blew up to make them fall down, so we could actually get up, are actually raised again. Which allows us to actually climb up the side here, because a sec I need to get this red rupee, to get up to this little area that we couldn't get up to before. This is a very strange choice, but I, I guess it's understandable. But anyway, let's grab this, since we're here. We could also probably get this later if we really wanted to as well. Let's grab that. There we go, and let's get out of here. Let's return to warp point. And that also dispels it once we return to it as well, so... But anyway, that's that. Now let's head back to the Happy Mask Shop. Okay, so back at the Happy Mask Shop, we don't need the spooky mask because I thought I did. Oh, you haven't sold the mask j uh, yet. Just have a little faith for a little while longer. Or do you want to trade it for another mask? I do want to trade it for another mask because I actually want to sell the bunny hood now. So let's do that. You borrowed a bunny hood. Hood's long ears are cute. So cute. Yes, they are. So, let's take this and take it to where it needs to be sold. Which is a little bit of a strange place for it to be sold. Because, we need to go back to Hyrule Field for this. Also, must de-equip automatically whenever you go in between an area. So we need to keep re-equipping it if we want to have it on the whole time. But anyway, now, we actually need to go quite a long way away. And we need to follow this guy, who's just running around the field. He won't stop until nightfall, so we have to wait for a while. I think he only stops in the same spot every time, so it might take even longer if I've if he's already passed, which I think he has, quite possibly. Or maybe he doesn't stop in the same spot every time. No, I'm pretty sure he stops in the same spot every time. Also, there's a pee hat over there that could be annoying. But luckily for me, it's turn night time, so it won't attack me. Listen. Let's go check. The Navi just really wants to go to the Temple of Time right away. But I am busy. Okay, he's gonna stop. Let's talk to him. I bet with those long ears, you can hear the voices. Oh, these are genuine rabbit ears from the animal of the legend. I don't care how expensive it is. Please, sell it to me. Yes? Okay, sure. My long time dream, returning to the wildlife. Finally, the actor, stage, and prop have been united. It's a 50 rupee mask, but he paid you a crazy amount of money for it. More money than you can count. He completely fills up her wallet, so getting that purple rupee might not have been the best idea, but it's fine. Go back to the mask shop and pay back just 50 rupees of this money. So let's go do that. Wow, that's randomly lucky. It spawned inside of the moat and died instantly again. <laughs> wow. Okay, we've sold it. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay me back 50 rupees for the bunny hood now. Oh yeah, very well done. And the masks are, are sold out. I knew I could trust you. As a reward, I will lend you this special mask. This is the Mask of Truth. It is a mysterious mask passed down by the Sheikah. With this mask, you can see into other people's minds. It's useful, but scary. Why is it scary? You may find out as you grow older and discover the true meaning of life. Ho ho ho. You borrowed a mask of truth. Wear it with C to show it off. Show it to many people. From now on you can borrow any mask you want. Just have faith. So we don't have to trade any more masks. We can don't have to pay any more rupees. 
So now we can just swap the masks out. There's also the Garuda mask, with its charming eyes it makes a great lady's disguise. The Zora mask, you'll look cool while you're swimming if you wear this mask. And a Goron mask. Ah, uh, this round face makes you a little happier. But that's everything that we need to worry about here for now. So, it's time... ...to save and reset. So, back in this hole, if we wear the Mask of Truth... ...and present it to our audience... Oh my young Deku Scrubs brothers say, you have a horrible face. But don't worry, we will reward you with many Deku Nuts. Of course, we will also enable you to carry more of them. Abracadabra, Alakazam! And now we can carry up to 40 Deku Nuts. So there we go, that's everything in here now. Don't have to do any more masks for them. So, let's do one more thing really quickly, which also if we want to head back to the mask shop from here, it's actually fairly simple. We just need to go over this way, through uh, this water tunnel to the Zora River and go down that and it'll take us down fairly quickly, so. Just need to swim down here. Also, the rupees down here, I believe, are an arrow pointing this way. To show you that you can do this. And I guess while we're on Zoro's River, I should probably... Go talk to the bean seller again. Are there not rupees down there? Oh well, I thought there were. Guess I'm wrong then. Popcorn! Let's get a pair of rupees on life for just doing this now. That's also pretty good. It's so easy to get rupees. So I think I can jump across, I'm just going to stay here for a little bit, get some more rupees, and then go up this way. Okay, bean man, sell me, sell me, sell me. Give me the beans. Chomp, chomp, chomp. We have magic beans, do you want them? Huh? Huh? 100 rupees for one piece, yeah. Yes I do. Oh, too bad. We're sold out. Chomp, chomp. What? Oh, these beans are not for sale. Okay, sir. Oh, okay, okay, a mask. Do you want to buy some beans? <laughs> okay, sir, take that. Anyway, let's actually head to Castletown for the, the Temple of Time. But that is also it for now, so thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.